financial accounting. We've been talking about the accounting equation and we've defined assets, liabilities, and stockholders equity or owners equity accounts, haven't we? It's now time to look at the expanded accounting equation which adds two more types of accounts, revenue and expense. So let's take a look at what revenue is. Revenue is why you're in business. Revenue says that, remember the stuff you put price tags on and said, customers come in and buy from me? Well, when customers buy from you, it shows up in the revenue accounts. So this is everything you've sold, whether you've sold goods, whether you've sold services, merchandise, inventory. When you sell it, it's revenue. Expenses, E, is every, all the resources that you've used or consumed in order to generate that revenue. So expenses are called um, expired or consumed resources or expired or consumed costs. Now, remember that food in your refrigerator that was an asset, which said it had future potential value? As soon as you stick that food in your mouth, what does it become? expired or consumed. It becomes an expense. So, you had food, you'll have food expense. You had prepaid rent. Remember you paid your rent way in advance? As soon as the month starts and you start using that rent for the month, it becomes what? Rent expense. Supplies, that pristine marker before it's opened. Marker's opened. What is it? Marker expense or supplies expense. So as you can see, many of the assets when they're consumed become expenses. Oh, I remember one. Do you remember unearned revenue? Remember those plane tickets that um, I've already paid the money for and the airlines has a liability called unearned revenue that says uh, I haven't given her the plane ride yet but I promise to give her a plane ride, what happens when that I take the plane ride? Well, it flows out of liabilities, and where does it go? Ticket revenue, doesn't it? Into the revenue account. So as you can see, there can be movement between the accounting equation as um, transactions or business is done in the business. So as we consume our assets, they become expenses. As I discharge my promises and give people plane rides or earn uh, the, what I promise to do, guess what? They become revenue. So that's the expanded accounting equation. Now I want to share one more thing about this accounting equation just because it's important. Assets equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity makes up a beautiful report because when we uh, talk to our investors or we talk to the public external to our business, we just don't give them the accounting equation. Instead, we give them reports, don't we? So assets equal liabilities plus stockholders' equity shows up in a report called the balance sheet. And the balance sheet is just that. It balances, doesn't it? And it gives you the what? Financial health of the business at one moment in time. So, balance sheet. The plus revenue minus expense gives you another financial statement. It's known as the income statement. And the difference between revenue minus expense is your profits or your net income in the business. So the income statement shows you your net income or your profits for the period of time. This answers the question, how did you do this period? In other words, how well are you doing? This is your financial health at a moment in time. So this tells you kind of what's going on during the year. This tells you how you were at the beginning of the year end of the year, or whenever you prepare one of these. So that's what they're called.